Hello, welcome to the Baylor Clarinet Studio. Today, I am going to talk about good hand and arm position for clarinet playing. There are a few points I would like to make. You need to have relaxed elbows with correct arm position determined by bringing the clarinet up to your mouth without moving the torso or head. It works every time. Fingers slant downwards naturally. The amount depends on finger hand size. Rests should be straight as in saluting. Do not collapse them in towards the instrument. For the hand position, first of all, you need to make a fist with your left hand and then relax it. That is a very natural hand position for your top joint. Next, you can do the same thing with your right hand. Please make sure that your right thumb is parallel to the index finger when you play the clarinet. Unfortunately, the position of a thumb rest on the lower joint is too low on many clarinets. In this case, the student has to pinch down the right thumb in order to hold the clarinet. This causes pain for many students and for thumb, severe tendonitis or other problems. If the clarinet thumb rest does not allow you to have a parallel alignment between your right thumb and the right index finger, please take your clarinet to a repairman. You can request to move the thumb rest up about half an inch to one inch higher. This thumb position on this clarinet is right. Or you can simply replace your current thumb rest with a new movable thumb rest. The bottom line is that you should not have any physical injury when you play the clarinet. Fingers should not touch each other. Naturally curved fingers need to be close to tone holes. Maintain curved and move fingers from knuckle. Fingers move the same height and the same speed up and down. Both thumbs must only extend under the rest or thumb hole far enough. The thumb should be at about a 40 degree angle to the instrument in order to achieve the natural curve. If the fingers are not curved, you will have many technical difficulties and unevenness during virtuosi passages. That theory also applies to the relationship between the tongue and the reed when a challenging articulated passage occurs. We will talk about that in another video section. I normally practice certain scales to help form good hand position. The key is making sure that both your pinkies stay on the pinky keys wherever possible. By doing this, your hand position will be great at all times. C major and G major are two good choices with which to practice this technique because both of them involve CF and the BE pinkies. I will start with C major and set the metronome to 60. I will play the scale as chord notes first. C 
that is how far my pinkies go. There's no space between pinky and the pinky keys. Then try to play in eighth note, triplet, and the sixteenth notes formats. After doing that, I will play G major scale with the same procedures which I have used before. Please make sure to start at a very slow speed and gradually go faster. <laughs> After 10 minutes a day of such exercise, you will improve your playing in no time. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.